Now you've created your lecture in TDO uh, in the organize part and uh, now you want to add some video uh, to that lecture and play some video. So let's say you want to add a part of a pushpacks delamination video and you just copy it and paste it. You can play it. Don't worry about editing it. You will edit it later. The whole video will go into the lecture. And then let's say you want to add uh, another video. And it's hard to see the videos. If you go into detail, you actually can get a detailed view and get the actual name of the video. And that makes it easy. Let's say I'm going to give the giving anesthesia video. I want to show that. You put that in and you can scroll through it very quickly. You can, you'll edit it and start and stop points later. Uh, so now you've added a couple of videos uh, to your lecture and now you want to add some slides that you have labeled from the draw page and put those in again. So this is very, very functional. You double click on a slide, go ahead and put your text in, your arrows in, and then save it. It's hard to see the yellow arrow there, so I do a little editing, move it up so you can see it. Then I save it, and that is now in your presentation. You can also do some side-by-side -side as well. Here I am adding more slides from different cases. And you can see how fast this is. You can do... Now I'm playing the playing the video. I'm sorry, I'm playing the, the slideshow there. And you can test it out. Rearrange things to work on your timing. Now let's say I want to add some video from MIE cases uh, that are posted on the some of uh, my, my videos that I've posted on the re final reports of these cases. It's very simple because you have them, you're, you've downloaded them from the MIE site. So let's go ahead and you go into presentations. They're in presentation folder typically. You copy, you paste them, you put them in, and now they're part of your lecture. So this is when you lecture on this material. Here's another case from Rick. <clears throat> and we put it in, and then when you actually go in and play them. There I'm putting multiple slides in at once. And you can see how easy that is. There's the report that I made and it is now in your lecture. You scroll through it very quickly and you'll edit it later in Resolve. You can uh, shorten it up and just take the segments that you want. This is the one case on Peters that we just did. And you can see how those slides now were, were labeled in TDO. So it's a very, very efficient way to pull together a lot of this MIE material, which can be a little overwhelming. Uh, but you have it all labeled, all by case number, and then you can uh, add your own material, your own titles if you want, and your own clinical material, uh, which makes it um, very, very powerful, very, very compelling uh, for whatever audience you're speaking to. If you save your lectures in TDO, like this is my New Jersey lecture from 2014, uh, I have all those slides. I have immediate access to them. Uh, I even have a, a, a clinical video uh, saved in TDO. This is the bet that I had with BMB on the Calla Lily prep. So it gives you a tremendous amount of functionality and you don't have to go all over and hunt for material. You have it all at your command and it makes this just uh, so much more enjoyable putting this material together.